On this installment of What's Up With That, we're breaking down the five most popular side steps for your viewing pleasure. What's up guys, Justin with americantrucks.com and on this installment of What's Up With That, we're taking on the sidestep category to break down the many different styles and designs. Nerf bars, running boards, drop steps, rock sliders, and power steps. We're gonna talk pros, we're gonna talk cons, and hopefully help you guys decide what's best for you and your rig. Now the basic idea of a sidestep is pretty simple, right? To help you and your passengers get in and out of your truck much easier, along with adding some visual improvements improvements as well. However, some steps out there will be better than others when it comes to entry, exit, and overall traction, and some steps will actually perform functions outside of being a physical step. So with all that said, what do you say we break down our first option and our most popular option, the sidestep bar. Now this option goes by a few different names here on the site, including Nerf bar or sidestep bars. And as the name implies, this step will be circular in shape, well, like a bar. Now the particular steps we are featuring in this video come to us from Barricade with their five inch offering featuring the 60 degree ends in black. And these will hands down guys be one of the most popular steps that you're gonna find on the site, period. Now, one of the cool things I do like to point out about the step bar options that we have here is the infinite amount of options owners have when it comes to choosing steps for your rig. For instance, you can get these bad boys in a three inch, four inch, five inch, and even a six inch diameter. You can get different end options, including a straight bar design, a 60 degree end, or even a 90 degree end. And last but not least, you have a couple of different finish options. For instance, the black that we have here, or even a polished option for truck owners who prefer a little bit more flash and want to match that chrome package truck. Pros here will be the affordable price tag, along with the cool looking design, but the biggest con I would say is going to be the limited amount of traction space located on the bar itself. Now, as you can see with the barricade, you do get these two sizable plastic traction areas for both front and rear passengers, but if you need to step anywhere else on the bar here for whatever reason, you'll want to be careful as these areas can be a bit slick whenever things get a little wet or snowy. But ultimately, guys, the step bars here will continue to be a super popular choice thanks to the bang for your buck, along with that very sporty look. Up next, we have another very popular style in the category, guys, and that is the running board. Now, unlike our last option, the running board here will offer traction essentially from tip to tip here, which is going to be one of the biggest pros in my opinion. Now, these running boards in particular are from a company called Aries Automotive and will combine a very stout powder coated carbon steel build along with a whopping six and a half inches of real estate for your foot, which by the way, is one of the larger traction surfaces in the category. Now, there's a lot to like about the running board design in particular, and it's probably probably why most factory trucks come equipped with a running board as opposed to a different design altogether. And to be honest guys, there's no real glaring con with a running board like this with maybe one lone exception and that being tough to access on those lifted trucks out there since most running boards really don't drop down much off the cab. So if you're dealing with a big lift, you might wanna consider our next option instead. But if you dig the abundance of traction and the very clean look, it's hard to beat the timeless design of a running board like this. Up next, we have a solution for those truck owners out there running those big lifts and are looking for a little bit of help for you or the family when it comes time to getting in and out of your rig. And that is gonna be with a drop step that we have here. Now our example in this video will be from Weston with their HDX drop step and as the name implies this option will actually drop that step down a few inches a little bit lower than the other options such as those nerf bars or running boards we've already covered. Now on top of the functionality that these things bring to the table I just really dig the look of the Westons here thanks to that angular steel build along with that black powder coat which lends itself to the other side of the sidestep debate, and that is appearance. But as far as your pros are concerned, well, we've already highlighted the biggie, and that is the step portion itself being a little bit lower to the ground compared to others, making entry and exit a little bit easier on both stock and lifted trucks alike. Now, on the other hand, there are two big cons that come to mind here, guys. First and foremost, kind of goes back to what I pointed out earlier with those Nerf bars and the spacing for traction outside of the designated areas here is going to be extremely limited 
or even in this case, almost non-existent. Now, the second con is indicative of all drop steps, and that is the fact that these will lessen your ground clearance ever so slightly, guys, especially in regards to your breakover angle, as these things are gonna be hanging a little bit lower than some of the other options in the category. Not a huge deal to most, but if you do a ton of wheeling in your F-150, you might wanna consider our next option instead. But if you or your wife are a bit vertically challenged per se and are looking to lessen the distance traveled to get in and out of your truck, a drop step like the Weston here is certainly gonna be a great way to go. Up next, we have the most bulletproof option in the category, and that is the Rock Slider. Now the exact sliders we are featuring in this video come to us from our friends at Addictive Desert Designs, and it's a step that's near and dear to my heart as it's the same exact product I'm currently rocking on my Gen 2 Raptor. Now ADD's rock sliders are one option in this list that will really serve a purpose outside of the step aspect, and that is to protect the lower rocker area on the cab when you do some off-roading or rock crawling. And that protection is gonna come in the form of this 120 wall steel construction, double welded and then powder coated in black for corrosion resistance. Now outside of the protection aspect, the rock sliders here will also mimic the running board as far as traction surface is concerned, giving you traction the length of the board itself here. Now last but not least, the cherry on top, if you will, of the sliders from ADD is that they do include some LED lighting and wiring inside the actual step itself here that will be illuminated whenever the door is open, which I think is a nice little touch. Now the rock sliders aren't exactly cheap, Cheap at the $1,400 to $1,500 price tag, but if protection is your priority, the rock sliders from ADD are gonna be very tough to beat. Last but not least, we have the fanciest and the priciest of the bunch, and that is the Amp Research Power Step. Now, as the name implies, the Power Step automatically deploys whenever the door is open and automatically retracts whenever the door closes. And if I may say here, guys, these things are completely awesome if you don't mind spending the $1,500 or so to get them onto your truck. Now, aside from the power operation here, the power step will also deploy much lower than other options in the category, even including those drop steps we talked about earlier, which in turn will make for much easier entry and exit on stock, but even more so on lifted trucks. But when the steps are retracted back into the cab, you really gain that ground clearance back while also making for a much cleaner look overall. Now the step is going to feature a durable aluminum board completed with a textured surface to provide you guys with plenty of traction. And get this, each step is capable of supporting up to 600 pounds per side, which is very solid overall. Amp also kicks in some LED lighting that will also function more as a puddle light and everything is gonna be backed by a five year, 50 thousand mile warranty. Aside from the higher price point, these steps will also involve a little bit more work than most to get installed. But if you don't mind either, the Amp Power Step here will be one of the nicest options out there and one that will ultimately make getting in and out of your truck a much easier experience. Well guys, that's gonna wrap up this installment of What's Up With That. We hope you enjoyed our take on the sidestep category. And as always, if there's a category you want us to cover in the next episode, feel free to drop us a comment below. But in the meantime, be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel if you dig what you see. I'm Justin, and remember for all things F-150, keep it right here at americantrucks.com.